everyone an essential aspect of running a successful woocommerce store is by offering personalized shipping options now shipping can be a major factor in customers decision to purchase from your online store now offering the right shipping option can help increase the conversions and customer satisfaction thus in this video we'll show you step by step how to set up conditional shipping to your woocommerce store i'm aparna singh from learnwoo and let's get started Well, setting up conditional shipping on your WooCommerce store is easier than you might think. With just a few simple steps, you can provide accurate shipping rates based on various factors such as location, shipping class, weight, or product type. In this video for the demo to set up conditional shipping in WooCommerce, we will be using a plugin named ReachShip WooCommerce Multi Carrier and Conditional Shipping plugin. Now we will be using this plugin because this plugin comes with extensive shipping rules and conditions letting business owners set up conditional shipping rules depending on factors like product category cart total shipping class shipping address shipping carriers and many more Additionally ReachShip plugin enables merchants to easily integrate their WooCommerce store with multiple carriers including FedEx, UPS, USPS, Australia Post, My Post Business, DHL and many more carriers to follow. Let's first install the plugin. You can download the zip file of the plugin from the link mentioned in the description. Once the plugin zip is downloaded, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new Now click upload plugin and upload the downloaded zip file of the plugin here. Now click install. Once installed, click activate. Next, let's first add ReadShip as a shipping method. So go to WordPress dashboard, WooCommerce, settings. Now go to shipping. Click Add Shipping Zone. Enter the other details and then add shipping method and add reach ship as the shipping method. Now once the plugin is installed and activated and you have added reach ship as a shipping method, you can easily add flat rate to the conditional shipping. For that, navigate to WordPress dashboard, reach ship. Conditional shipping. Now click add new rule to start setting up conditional shipping. Here give a title in the rule name field. Next in the condition type option select any if you want the rule to be triggered if any of the conditions are satisfied. And select all if you want to restrict the rule to situations where every required condition is met. Next in this condition type field under condition choose what kind of condition you want to use in your shipping rule. Well there are five condition types options given to you. These are item based, product category based, cart value based, shipping class based and shipping address based. Now let's quickly take a look at how to use reach ship for each of these conditions. First one is conditional shipping based on items added to the cart. Now with ReadShip, you can create a custom shipping rule that applies only to specific items in the cart. Let's say you have a store that sells all kinds of clothing items and accessories. Now you want to offer flat rate shipping on shoes particularly. To create this rule after adding a rule name and condition type under condition select item based and choose the specific items you want to apply the rule to. Here I have selected shoes. Next toggle the flat rate amount option. Then enter the amount you want to charge for the selected items. You can enter an amount or choose the percentage from the option here. Once done save the rule. Now once the rule is saved, when a customer adds a shoe to their cart, they will be charged a flat shipping fee of $50. Next, if you want to apply a shipping rule to products in a specific category, you can use the product category based condition in ReadShip. Now for example, let's say you sell different category of products and you want to apply particularly flat rate shipping charge to decor items only. To create this rule, go to ReadShip, Conditional Shipping, Add New. Now give the rule an appropriate name and select the condition type like we did earlier. 
under condition select product category based and choose the decor category next simply toggle flat rate option and add flat rate shipping charge here like here i am adding 10 percent once done click save rule now when a customer adds any item categorized as decor to their card, they will be provided with the shipping charges of 10% on the card subtotal. Now the next conditional shipping that we get is based on the total card value. Let's say you want to offer free shipping on orders above $50. To create this rule, go to read ship, conditional shipping, add new. Enter all the other details like we did earlier. And next under condition, select card value based. Set the applicable equation to greater than and enter the total card value to $50. Now to offer free shipping based on card value, set the flat rate amount to zero. Now once done with that, click save. Now as soon as the customer's card total exceeds $50, the flat rate shipping will be enabled, which in turn will enable free shipping. But here if I decrease the amount to $40, the shipping charge that was free will be removed. Next, if you want to apply a shipping rule to specific shipping classes, you can use the shipping class based condition in ReadShip. Let's say you have two shipping classes, one is standard and one is express and you want to offer a flat rate for standard shipping. To create this rule, go to read ship, conditional shipping, add new, enter all the other details like we did earlier. Now under conditions, select shipping class based and choose the standard shipping class. Next add flat rate amount or percentage, like here I'm adding $10. Once the rule is saved, products that have been attributed to the standard shipping class will be charged with flat rate of $10. Next, you can also create custom shipping rules based on shipping address. For example, if you want to offer flat rate shipping to customers in California, then we can do that as well. Now for that, you can create rule with shipping address condition. For that, after entering all the other details like we did earlier, under the condition select shipping address based and enter the country and the state code and enter the zip code to which you wish to restrict the condition. Next, enter the flat rate amount that you wish to charge for that particular shipping address. Once the rule is saved, the shipping condition will be applied whenever a customer enters the said shipping address. Like here, I have changed the address to California and you can see that there is flat rate charged for this address. However, if I change the address, there won't be any flat rate for the product. Now, if you have multiple conditions set up, you can reorder the conditions and set priority based on the store's requirement. For that, on the conditional shipping page, you can reorder the shipping conditions by drag and drop. The priority is completely based on the order of the condition. So the condition that is on top is given the first priority. Now, you can also turn the status of the created conditions on and off based on your needs from this button here. Now you can also add multiple carrier to your ReadShip plugin and get the conditional shipping according to your preference of the shipping carriers. For that, you first need to configure and set up your ReadShip account and add multi-carriers to it. For that, go to WordPress dashboard. Here you can find ReadShip plugin. Click on it. It will open the login dashboard for your ReadShip account. If you have your ReadShip account, you can directly enter the details here. But if you are new to ReadShip, click on create new account to create a new one. Enter the details and create account. Once the account is created, this is how your ReadShip account will look like. 
Now go to settings from the left panel here. Click on shipping. Now select production if you're directly using it for real time use. But if you're using it for testing purpose, then select sandbox. However, the entire settings and steps would remain the same for both. Here I'll be using the sandbox option since it is for this demonstration. Next click on filter by carrier name and from the drop down select the carrier you want to set. Here I'll add DHL first. Enter the carrier's API credentials. Now once done click validate and save settings. Similarly, I'll also add Australia post as well. Once done with that, go to settings, API. Copy the client ID and secret ID from the API credentials here. Next, go back to the read ship settings in WordPress where we left. Now here also select sandbox if it's for testing, else for real time use, select production and then enter the credentials in their respective places. Once done, click connect. Next, you need to set up your ReadShip account here. Select the services you require for each carrier. Here, I'll keep all the services selected. However, you can select it according to your requirements. Once done, click next. Here, give a name with which the address will be saved. Enter all the sender details like name, company name, phone number, email address. Next, enter the sender address. You can enter it manually or copy it from your WooCommerce address by clicking copy WooCommerce store address from here. Once done, click next. Here, enter the shipping automation. Once done with that, click finish. Now your ReadShip plugin setup is complete. This is how your ReadShip dashboard would look like with total shipping details, carrier details, etc. Now once that's done, let me show you how you can add conditional shipping rules to your products along with the multi-carrier options. For that, navigate to WordPress dashboard, ReadShip, conditional shipping. Now click add new rule, give a title in the rule name field. Select the condition type. Under condition, select any of the one condition like here I'm selecting product category. Now choose the category like here I've selected decor. Now here particularly you can select the carrier account you wish to associate the rule with. Here you'll get all the carriers that you had set up. Like here I'm selecting Australia Post. Now you can select any of these carriers or select all of them. You can also add flat rate shipping if needed from here. However, I won't do that. Once done, click save rule. Now when a customer adds any item categorized as decor to their card, they will be provided with real time rates for Australia post shipping services like you can see here. And similarly, you can keep adding different rules according to your carrier preferences and flat rate shipping charges. And that's all. This is how you can set up conditional shipping on your WooCommerce store. I hope this video was helpful to you. Do let us know in the comment section if this worked out for you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.